Gladiators. That was the huge, huge story. Shot. It bro- it really broke the region and the community. It broke across regions too. It did. It did. Well, I mean, you look at the storyline with Canadian. Very, very similar storyline, and. You know, from all eyes, everyone looked to Oda to go, okay, what are you going to do next? Like, what's what's next there? What's going to happen? He said, watch. He's like, watch me. And Game and Gladiators, unfortunately, started this long villain arc. They refused to answer questions. They they were, you know, very, uh, what's the right word? Shielded, I would say, yeah. as a team. And they just automatically turned into the villains of the story. And it looked all good up until the final play day where Chiefs turned up. Chiefs got competitive and things really took a turn and you know I I think that this is simultaneously one of the greatest things that's ever happened to Ose but also one of the worst things to ever happen to Ose because now I can almost tell you we won't have a team at SI because it, we it is have difficult. To, not not only do we not get an auto seed because of obviously Game and Gladiators are not going to be able to get enough SI points. The last chance qualifier, mate, I don't know if you've seen what's going on for the APAC last chance qualifiers, but you're going to have some of the best teams in APAC fighting out yeah. for one slot. One! Yeah, it's not like every region gets an LCQ. You know, no. we, don't got, we don't got nine extra teams going. It, it ain't happening. It ain't happening. But, you know, on, on, the, on the flip side, Fear X, I, I think that their storyline has been a little underwhelming in Stage 2 in comparison to what I'd hoped. Again, what you hope for and what actually happens are yeah. two very different things. But I think that this is a huge opportunity for them now, right? They had some issues going into it. It looks like they've kind of cleared things up a little now. I think so, but but you know what? Because of their performance this stage, even with two of the LCQ, they're the only Korean team to play both events this year. Yeah, that's crazy. Z plus Kia didn't qualify. Talon did. Talon not even here. That was a big shock. D plus oh, Kia managed to qualify. About we ha- we haven't really like Firex, you know, had to beat both these teams had to go through Talon to qualify through the regular stage and yep. the LCQ. But Firex managed to do that and is now the only team to play every international event from Korea this year. They played SI, they played Manchester, and they've played now obviously Montreal. The ban phase has gone through, by the way, and one thing we gotta point out, I, we were kinda talking about, you know, O's and all what that meant. We got some funky bands. <laughs> we got some weird bands on this map. Chiefs yeah. have banned Maverick. Firex have banned Capitao. Yeah, that's a weird one. I mean, especially with the Cade ban following up, I mean, you kind of got to do it. The interesting thing about the Mav ban, when it was a bit more common, and remember when the attacker ban phases used to be kind of like hard for each bands and yes. maybe something interesting? Yeah. When that used to be the case and you saw the Mav ban, it's like, oh, whenever a team does that, you got to respond with the Cade ban. Because even if you're starting defense, if that Cade is up, it's going to be impossible to take down, and so that's why Furex likely banned the Kate as well, even if they were going to. That's another reason you have to. But then the Mira gone as well. I mean, that's a powerful operator, but so to Nighthaven, you got a zombie, Valkyrie, Fenrir, all these are still on the board. Rin pushing in, spots one on the secret stairs, but player falls back very briefly. Or does he? he? Oh, there's no way Tanks gets away from that. I can't believe they didn't try to support each other there. I mean, it. it's whenever you're Obviously, I've never played. Well, I played the game, and when you are playing in positions like that, you've got a long hallway behind you. You got to be really careful when you retreat because there's nowhere to go left or right. You either fall all the way back or stand your ground. So if you decide to rotate and you miss time it, and the enemy team can fall in behind you, you've got nowhere to go. It's like yep. shooting fish in a barrel. It is easy to wrap at that there's, point. End. There's no, there's no bunny hop. There's no, no slides. There's you're not. S- no. You're done. Nothing like that. You can't pull out your knife and just speed boost away. You you're are stuck. cooked, my friend. Look at these Valcams, though. Yep. Got one in bar, looking at the attack. Got one on main stairs, watching the push down. Even if you're in a four v five, the information that Chiefs have on all of the important positions, though obviously one now gone, but the secret of main stairs one, that's still great. One problem Furex had for a long time, I was going to mention this earlier, but didn't. They were super slow. Took far too much time, didn't accomplish a lot. They've got the opening pick, but they've only got 55 seconds left. Yeah. Now only they're starting to put the pressure where they might end up kind of, I guess, putting presence. Let's across toward Dirk. He isn't too far behind. Chiefs are in a, a position now where if they can continue to stall this out, it's really going to put Firex under the I pump. Just, they're going to have to go for kills. Here. I don't know. I like. I want to be honest. I don't know how they're going to win this. Like they are just doggedly trying to go for this blue push. They want the the, the blitz should overpower the smoke, but should. 
should. You've but also got to clear it, like you've got to clear out the rest of racks. We haven't even gotten through dirt yet, and now if they can continue to hold on, maybe if that kill goes through from Cairo, things look a little bit better. Nova now going to send it a lot deeper, it and matter. things have fallen apart here for the Chiefs. It was a decent hold to begin with, but in the end, it's Fear X. <laughs> It, Scream, you know, me, I won't lie. It, it seemed it seemed risky. Like even I was second guessing it. Like you've only got 18 seconds left. Like maybe you got. I mean, it's a bit too late to rotate at that point. But I'm like, guys, I think we've taken too much time. Yeah. They just trusted in that shield yeah. immensely. They said, "We have a 5v4. We've got the blitz right here." Similar to the, what I said at the beginning of the round, dirt the same way. It's a hallway. You got to back up. Yeah. You got to go forward and back. Nowhere else to go. So they just keep pushing him, pushing him, pushing him. And he's not able to retreat fully because Kitchen Hatch is open and Furex are watching it. So ultimately he is pinched. And then with the fight with the guy AKs, I mean, you just run a shield into him. Just run at him. Just run at they him. They just had faith in that blitz completely. And even though he took all that time, if you're able to make good use of that operator, you are going to be able to win rounds like that when you've only got 20 seconds left. When if you didn't have a shield, you'd have to try to coordinate crossfires, yep. utility, all with that low time. And the defense, even in a 4v5, has opportunities to reposition. A shield makes that a whole lot easier because they might try to reposition and you just run them down. Why not? Just run at them. I will be... I, I, I want to I track Nova and his performance throughout this game because you said it in the, in the pre-show we were just talking about before. Nova has polarizing views from the community. Some think that he does the right job. Some think that he might be one of the, the heaviest anchors on a, on a team that you know, goes to international events and things like this. And we've, we've talked extensively on the career show about it. And obviously now that we're back at an international event, I, I really want to see what he's bringing to this roster to ensure that he's making a difference, that he's making a change. Right there, very big an obvious kind of opening. Yeah, and, and I think especially, I mean, if, if you want to look at the big and obvious opening, I mean, if you've got a guy that for so long has been struggling to get kills with a gun in his hand, well, go back and watch those South Korea games, and look, he's got 23 rounds on Montane, the same rounds on Blitz. This guy is playing Shield like every damn round. Ironically, not here. Yeah. He's brought the Thermite instead. It is just fully leaning into the remaining hard breachers on board, which to be fair, I mean, I guess makes sense for Jacuzzi, but... We even not thinking it's a bit egregious. We got no castle barricades to destroy with those Nibanas. I mean, I actually think, rarely I say this, I think we actually have more hard breach than we need. I don't know if we needed all this. <laughs> well, I guess Nova's done his job. He's opened up both of the crucial walls in this. So, Jacuzzi, construction. Now, points of contention and something that Chiefs are going to have to monitor. I think it's so crucial. It's, it's, it's something that we always talk about, but the mini games on clubhouse and how early you open these walls and apply pressure on the defense critically changes how these rounds been. It does. And we're at a minute and a half right now and you don't have a shield this time to just yeah. kind of fast track that control to send somebody into cash and push Kyra back or get that kill and you've got quiz in secret stairs as well. So a lot of heavy resources from Chiefs on this side right now, and I will say if Therex realized that, they could try to just bludgeon the players inside of the site and just ram all their forces into the actual building itself, but they're not doing that. They're still taking their time. So Chiefs are able to basically maintain control of that side. Therex have basically given it up. Maybe they've got somebody passively watching for a run out, but they're rotating and they're stuck in a 5v5 with no shield to break the stalemate. This is where that conversation will come in and maybe turn. <laughs> Fear X on its head. How do they now enter this building? They've cleared out pretty much all of Jacuzzi toward the bathroom side. That's a critical fight. And Hooded just gets away with his life. C4 comes out, but he's not going to hit anything. He turns his back as Good Boy sends Maybe it through too. the bathroom. And now, things get a little bit complicated. Cairo needs to win this fight. Can't do it. Quiz. The last to remain, and it's not looking good. At least he gets one player, and the kit is not stuck. Not yet. It gives him time to work with. Time that he will utilize quite well. He's going to get back into a position of power. The good boy's waiting for him. And Fear X look really strong in these opening two rounds. I mean, they are taking their time. Uh, they are going at a glacial pace, it feels like. And every time it happens, I'm thinking, oh, God, is this the Fear X of old? Is it the Fear X of old? Please don't tell me you're going to spend two and a half minutes and die <laughs> at the moment you set foot in the building. But it's not happening. No. They walk in there. They still had five flashbangs, and I think they used pretty much all of them pushing in, even if we didn't necessarily see it from that Ace's POV. But he tries to take the fight on the bandit, and instead of just pushing forward on the doorway, 
I like that play to hop into the bathroom. Yep. They know it's clear. Jigsaw is focused on other parts of the building. He's able to find a very brief gap, and Oda doesn't expect it. He expects them to just try to push into the doorway yep. and catch the Chiefs completely off guard. More importantly, without a shield, they're able to make out a 3v2, and they are just walking into the building with 30 seconds left at a 5v5. Having the ability to win fights like that is going to be very important for Firex in this series. If one of their big problems is slow attacks, which let's be honest, that still was, yep. if they're still able to win the fights, get the intel they need, and then of course use that to inform the engagements they're taking on the site, that makes up for that weakness. You still put yourself in a risky spot, but it makes up for it. I do hope that we see a, a bit more confidence from Chiefs. It doesn't, like, I feel as though there's a there's going to be a, a bite missing to them for the first map at the very least. I feel like they're going to need to find their feet here. And Fear X have well and truly found theirs. As you said, slower attacks, granted. But they're still looking like the ideas, that the, the concepts of their attack are well and truly cemented. And Chiefs just haven't had the, the right answer for anything that's been thrown their way. Not to say it won't change, but, you know, very quickly, this is how games roll out of control. If you start to, if you start to lose that small advantage you have at the start and you don't find your ways to adapt, it can become crushing. Especially when you got a good Blitz player on the enemy team. It's crazy. If, you, like, if you're struggling to gain momentum and just every time you're trying to make a play or extend or even just hold the sight, you got a shield running at you and you used your C4 early, you blew yeah. it, you didn't get a kill, you've got the guy holding your cross just ha is focused on something else, he's getting distracted. It's hard to build that momentum when you got that shield sprinting at you and it seems to happen here with the 556 five, and the shield peppering text finishing them off. All the defenders push back to the CCTV and cash bomb site. The Arcs are using the shield really well in the late round and now the early round to require control and... Ah, uh, that's oh. my C4. I didn't nah. think that was going to land. Neither did I. I did not think that that was anywhere near close enough. But I guess... I actually think that uh, Nova was quite low. I just... I actually... Literally, I just... I, I just stopped talking because I was like, Oh, he's going to throw this C4 and it's going to go wide. <laughs> Your kit, you reinforce the con wall. There's no way. That guy's way. a demon. That is absurdly confident. There's literally like... Dude, there's literally head holes the size of Shrek in that wall. And it's just like... It just reinforces it. This is a jigsaw spot if I've ever seen it. Playing close on the door. Yeah. 28 HP, thinking about peeking out. Surely he's been No way. Don't tell me. Do not tell me that has not been droned. Because this, this this will be their undoing. Fear X, this is a construction site push. Oh, they got no idea. Push. They Nading don't. Heat? No idea. Oh, fuck. Well, 40 seconds for them to still find out. And right now, Chiefs are playing very defensive. They know what their win condition is. And right now, it's Jigsaw. He's gone undroned again. Did they see him? He catches him with a nade out in his hand. The swing from Cairo as well is crucial into construction. But this is where you don't want to throw it away. 30 seconds doesn't seem like a lot, but I can tell you it's an eternity in these rounds. It is. And But if Cairo just keeps playing close to that breach with the other two players supporting from inside of the site, they've never taken control of Garage. They've never taken control of Red Stairs. They'll go for a late push now, but Oda is right there to to take a fight. If he dies here, that could be problematic, but if we got 10 seconds, it doesn't matter. Even if they make it in, they've got to get past barbed wire. They've then got to get through the uh, the jump hole, the vault, which it's just not possible. There's no time. Huge and sell Much better from the Chiefs. They'll be very happy with the way that, that round concluded. Even then, we're still going to poke the holes in it. We're going we're gonna to poke the holes, and we're going to say, did that come down to Jigsaw in a corner? And a very quick swing from... Cairo, it, maybe. It, it, maybe. It, it very well could have. I mean, the construction pushes are a bit of a weird thing because you're only pushing through a wall and a doorway, especially if you've not cleared out garage, which Fear X had not. So not only do you have, you know, um, the garage, uh, or sorry, you've got the close angle on the door and the close angle on the breach. Yep. You potentially got somebody who can rotate from garage and maybe even get a long angle. Potentially to try and maybe find something. So... It's very, very difficult, but it's balanced out by the fact that you generally know where everybody's going to be playing. Somebody's yep. probably going to be green box. Somebody's probably going to be red stairs. Somebody's probably going to be close on that breach where Cairo was. So Jigsaw mixes it up by playing close on that door, gambling that he won't be thrown, and the gamble paid off. So maybe they don't just win the round because of that, because I think con pushes, if you win the fights, are very easy to repel. Sure. But switching it up like that, that makes it a whole lot easier when the gamble pays off. Well, that's, that, that is the gamble. 
because on the flip side of that conversation, if he does get drone, Jigsaw's then stuck in a corner. Yeah, where's you he You have going? to make a decision. Are you going to help him to get out of there, or are you just going to let him play for his life? I, I mean, they had nades. They had players to just sit there and watch. And how you, you really don't get out of that unless you're Jigsaw and you take a fight with the guy on door, because what are you going to do? Cross the door and the breach to move yeah. that way? No, huh. you'll, you'll die. But if you just walk straight back and vault over the desk, you're in view of the doorway. You, know, you basically have got to do double duty and have the guy on the breach help you. So it was a really risky gamble based on the positioning. If they had droned him, Jigsaw probably dies. Yep. But they didn't drone him. And boy, does he look smart. <laughs> he certainly does. And it's not the first time today that we've seen uh, a missed drone in a rat corner. There's actually been, I think, three occasions already. So something to continue to watch out for in this phase one, the Montreal Major. But... As an Ice fan, I say an Ice fan, it's a, heart, it's a heartening round. It's it's a heartening round, but it's also still a concerning round if that's, if that's you know, the win con. And especially when the the big thing that was great for Fear X, even at the beginning of that round we just saw, has been the Blitz. Yep. How they were able to use it to mitigate the uh, defects of low time before and this round, or this bomb site. Or sorry, no, last round where they were able to acquire control. But on this site, if a C4 can land on Nova early like it did before, we saw the effect it had on Furex. They were just as slow with nothing to fall back on to break that control. So now you've got Quiz all the way upstairs. Cairo 2 all the way upstairs. Do they even know about this? And if they don't, they can flank the Blitz and neutralize that factor again. They've got no idea. They've got absolutely you don't no idea, like but this. they've got pressure and dirt at the moment, I think, from Furex. So they've got two players pushed up and dirt. Oda does find Nova. That's a critical kill. Jigsaw shutting down Rin as well is that's really... That, that, that's, I mean, uh, that's a huge kill. That is your entire top floor goal. Exactly. That's Kitchen Hatch control. And Oda getting the second kill. Yeah, that's yeah, done. Unless... Unless... No, shut up. Demic. Big kill. A little bit of pressure alleviated. They don't have kit yet. It is in a very exposed position. But both of the Chiefs players aren't in ideal areas, and they're not going to be able to deny them picking up. But what perfect timing have the Chiefs found? Cairo swings hallway. Downs Demick. Neffy. With it all to do. A one he versus can two. plant here. He can hold for a little bit. He's got to be careful on the cross. Oh, Neffy. No way. Shut up. Don't do it. The 1v1 now. He swings around and... Oh! How close that came. Quiz on the counter swing, able to win that key 1v1. But oh my god, that came a whole lot closer than I thought it was going to. Mephi. Damn near 2v4 for Fear X right there. And once he was able to cross to get behind box one, that's a you're in a really dangerous spot if you're Chiefs, because even if that's not a 1v2... You've either got to walk up the long hallway or drop the hatch. Yeah. It, yeah. Like, that's such a good spot for the glass to be It's in. unbelievable. It's perfect. Now, Fear X timeout. Yeah, that's a bit surprising. That's a I'm very going to be honest. Call. It's like, this is their map pick. This is their comfortable territory. And, you know, they've won two attacks. Like, they've looked okay. I mean, I definitely think the big problem there was, of course, they try to go in through dirt. They try to get that same dirt pressure. And mm -hmm. Oda, huge anchor on the site, getting a two-piece right there. But also, it's undeniable that Quiz and Jigsaw on the flank were completely unaccounted for. We didn't really see it, but Jigsaw was able to flank from the top floor and take down Rin, who was playing in Kitchen. That's why Quiz was able to retake the Kitchen hatch yep. in the first place and put Furex in that difficult position. So there were more problems than just losing the fights on site. They not only, it seems, did not even drone one guy top floor. They didn't drone either of them. They didn't clear it whatsoever. Definitely a big problem, so I can see why they take a tactical timeout. But just given the scoreline, it's a bit surprising. It is. It is. Again, good signs for the Chiefs and for Fear X. I mean, the rounds are still competitive. They're still looking good. It's not like they're just getting absolutely dominated. There's a couple of win conditions there for Chiefs, one being a flank in the earlier round. It was a rat play from Jigsaw. Both have been on Jigsaw's shoulders, funnily enough. <laughs> but make of that whatever you will. Still 3 and 4, still not positive. It's, <laughs> it's crazy, isn't it? It's crazy. You can have impact without having impact. Exactly. Yeah. It's kind of ironic because um, you look over at the Fear X side, I mean, I guess it's kind of si it's kind of similar for Chiefs, but you have Tex that's 1 and 4, right? But everyone on Fear X, the only people negative are 2 and 3. It is yeah. like a very consistent performance on that side with Mephi just slightly breaking ahead after yeah. we, as we come out of this tactical timeout. It's similar for Chiefs, but you do at least have one guy lagging behind. Like, typically, 
you know, when we see maybe a team takes a tactical timeout or they start losing rounds, you got one guy that's just kind of not pulling his weight, really. A lot of times what we see, it's not the case for Furex. They've let Cheech get into this, and it's still overall, broadly speaking, a team performance. Close rounds. That's all I care about, honestly. I, I, I you were that. so confident in the Chiefs win. Why are you like, I'm glad they were close rounds? Because I'm trying to be unbiased. It's all oh, careful, Quiz. Be very careful. I can't believe you just ran back down that hallway. <laughs> the, like, not, the, not the headset adjustment mid EE1D. Yeah, don't worry, especially when there's a player flanking from behind you as well. He, he's new. Give it <laughs> <a try. laughs> uh, Quiz, though, honestly, has been a, a super solid player for Chiefs throughout stage two. Like, really has been critical not just as a fragger but also uh, as an overall player talking about like having an impact and not having an impact there are rounds where he doesn't get killed but he's still doing the right things and so he'll be someone to watch throughout the course of this series and, and really throughout the course of this campaign he might end up becoming one of them speaking about becoming one of them <laughs> Dropped on the ground, and Tex could have a choice to swing here if he really wanted to, but he's kind of stuck in a corner. There's no way Fear Ace let him get out of here. I, I, maybe, but I know um, the Condor was keep it off too, so... A retreat is not easy, but it is possible, and look at Quiz. You mentioned we should watch him. Look at him getting into position on this flank right now. He's called the Monty Fred. He's ADSing now. They got no idea. He surely gets this kill. But he's oh, oh, but he turns! No the way! The timing on that! Nova is ready for it! That's unbelievable. It's still a 5v4 if you're able to get Rin back up, but his Quiz is spotted. There's even a guy cutting him off in Garage. He's got to rotate all the way back through Basement. The only thing that Chiefs have going for them right now is that low time, and the shield player is down. If they can just keep Nova at bay and keep him off the board, Chiefs are back in it. So important to get Nova down. Nova has been so critical on the shields, even just in this match alone. Don't even worry about stage two. So that's a big one. Quiz again, looking for a double peek. Good boy rips his head off. That should have been a freebie. Good boy was completely out on an island. But to be honest, that, that kill doesn't really matter. Like, sure, you know that guy is dead, and you don't have to worry about the backside pressure now. But you've only got 30 seconds. The three anchors on the site are still there, and they've got one C4. They've got their angles. They're all set up. I'm not saying Chiefs are the favorite, but this might not be as close, or it might be close to what we think. Oda. He's got to be careful in gym right now. I know he's watching two different angles. A long time. Now being watched, Jigsaw finds good boy, has to double there down and go. can't. Oda with the C4 now repositions. They know where he is. They know that he's stuck on his backside. He's going to win the opening engagement and he cannot make it happen. Demic holds so strong and these rounds continue to stay close. And it was very briefly a close game as Jigsaw is able to shut down that backside pressure and the defenders can focus on the front, but the very quick reactions to find him in that position, yeah. ratting on top of the desk, massive for Firax right there. Because if he's able to flick around and the line is like looking at bathroom or watching Khan or looking at Jig somewhere else, Jigsaw might get two kills there. And now it's a 2v1 for Chiefs. But he's, able to, he's aware of it. They get the refrag. More importantly, they get the first kill as they are entering the site. So they have man advantage. They're reacting well to these sudden surprises. They've guaranteed a tie game. As yep. a result from it, they are still taking a long time. And I don't think they anticipated how much of a problem that CCTV <laughs> and cash position was going to be. The Zoto canisters. Yeah. The Kiba stopping the Monty from just running in and lot. charging him. There was a lot right there. And they were able to weather the storm, I suppose. But Chiefs... They're very competitive right now. They are definitely outsmarting Firex in a lot of these moments. It's really just coming down to Firex are hitting their shots when they need to. Yeah. And it is bailing them out of 20-second executes. Yeah, it's been a couple of close 2v1s on both sides, to be fair. Both sides have had their moments in 2v1s. So you cannot say that this is not an entertainment game. Not best player. Brought to you by R6 Share. You should, buy, you should buy some of their skins. Yeah, I think so too. I think so what too. skin? What skins do you want to buy? I don't know. It's up to you. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna necessarily like. I'm not gonna put words in my mouth. I'm not gonna put words in your mouth. I mean, I know what skin. Well, you skins buy. in my account. <laughs> You're likely to put skins in your account. Which? No, I don't have the rec GN money. I'm, I'm not a millionaire. <laughs> not the shadow. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out the rec GN, I suppose. Damn. Great, pro great production company. Whoever runs that, you should get a pay raise. You have, it's to, your wife, right? you have to be paid to get a pay raise in the first place. <laughs> now, all attention back out toward Kennels. 
Demic cannot get this open, and they have so much to deal with here. Chiefs are going to ensure that this stays closed. <laughs> He actually, it's funny, he put the bandit bat on the opposite wall. I don't think it'll destroy the exotherm when it activates. Yeah, he... Oh, no way. Oh, well, they abandoned it. They did not stick around to see the rest of that story I pan think, out. I think he just genuinely only had one bandit battery. I he think didn't he know. did, yeah. So... I, I didn't see, but like the second I saw him run away, I saw zero. I was like, oh. It's funny how that works out. Take a gamble. Yeah, even though you get the Zoto canister, you're just like, crap, I still have to gamble. That's... We brought the Zoto canister, so I didn't have to gamble. 50-50 out here. Unlucky. Exotherm is still able to open the wall. It's delayed a little bit, but doesn't really matter in the end, especially as you still got one Zoto canister to stall the push later on. Keep in mind, this was a con push last time, and it seems right now that it's going to be anything but that. We are fully focused on Garage, and they're lacking a lot of the utility that I expect. We got two sets of nades, sure, but... No Capital that I would think. It's really going to have to be like some bees and then throwing the frag grenade up. And even then, look at this. Quiz down below. <laughs> Wouldn't be surprised if he finds a double here. It just depends on how long it takes Furex to cross this angle. And they, they don't know about this. Well, that flash at the very least will give them coverage. Will he try to find the swing? He's chasing ghosts! The timing is not at all favorable. He continues to see the gun. He's proning to cross that! Dude, I have never seen such an unlucky player. They have no idea Quiz exists. He gets flashed by something that wasn't even meant for him, and oh! now he can't find anything. But Texan Jigsaw, hold down with the MP7. Quiz might have found nothing. <laughs> but the other two are pulling their way. The other two are doing their things. And now it, it just depends on where Quiz wants to go, how he wants to rotate back to the site. It's a 2v2 oh, yeah, right, but line. Jigsaw ratting again in the corner. He is once again the player with the impact. That is disgustingly ratty. That's been his just thing this entire half. It this, has. I have like, this man is sitting in corners. He is proning beneath windows. I like that in a player. I like somebody who is always thinking about these situations. What is a position that they won't expect, that they haven't droned, that I can play in to have maximum impact. And to be fair, Jigsaw has found those positions quite a few times. Close on the Condor is a massive gamble. It pays off. And as we later found out, was part of a broader trend of yep. Furex are just not droning things. I mean, Quiz, the only reason Quiz did not get one to two kills right there is because a flashbang that I'm pretty sure was genuinely not meant for him blinded him as the Dokubi ran up. And then she went prone on the rafters to dodge the boost angle. And only when she started standing up did Quiz rotate back. The only reason he didn't get a kill there was some of the most egregious timing I've ever seen a player <laughs> suffer. It's it sounds very first like. But it's part of a it's part of a broader trend that even though they got a three three in the rounds that they were losing, there were key parts yeah. that they did not drone where Chiefs were hiding players. So I mean the the bigger talking point there is like is this coming down to Furex making mistakes. Do you, do you know what I mean? Like, if we were to completely strip everything away and simplify this game right now, a Furex 3-3 because of mistakes. I mean, I don't think it's as clear cut as that. I think you have you have moments like in the second base attack where Oda just, I mean, we didn't see it, but Oda was just one, two fights. And like, if you have a mechanically skilled player, they could have set that up well. He could have hit a crazy spray transfer, anything like that. Yep. But we are seeing rounds that are, that are influenced in a substantial way by these missed drones. Maybe not cost them, yep. but retaking Kitchen Hatch proved to be really important in that basement round. Uh, not droning him on CC door, massively impactful. That round two, it didn't cost them, but still, it's evidence they missed droned a big position that would have halted the garage push had timing not gone their way. So, is it just Ferox making mistakes? No, but I think in the end, they probably left some rounds or some more convincing results on the table, and... Well, they're not even picking up this one. Okay, what what I find absolutely hilarious, maybe I'll talk about it after this round because this is still unfolding in real time. Chiefs, they have a very strong case. There's one player left upstairs to try and deal with, and he is behind the bar, so whether they can put oh. him out or not, how does he not get the kill? They now know exactly where Rin is. The C4 comes out. It's nicely placed, but poorly timed. Rin finds Jigsaw on the backside and shuts down Oda, fighting from Kitchen. He will eventually lose his life with Mephi in a one versus three. All three players are low. This is still doable. It might just be, but with that Deathmark tracker, I mean, they know where he is. He's got the fuser, but 
a Deimos in a 1v1 is such a brutal reality you have to face, and he's got another one. I mean, in all likelihood, the time will fall before Mephi will actually meet the Death Mark trackers, but again, once that recharges, he can activate it. There's a brief moment right now, a window of opportunity. Small. He's going to take it. He could isolate both 1v1s here, but Quiz comes in from the backside. And Chiefs ultimately end up with the round after a quick double entry from Jigsaw. It's just such a difficult spot. I mean, with that death mark tracker, they know you were last in church. Yep. The Damos is watching long, so he's know you, he's, he knows you haven't pushed out. So when you know where the last guy is, you don't need that death mark tracker to just send somebody moto, send somebody up long, and True. one of you is probably going to kill him unless you massively fumble the bag. <laughs> he's not hitting the 180. Like, I'm sorry. It's just not happening. He's not. What's he going to do? Move his mouse and slap the player next to him while he's... The, I, I mean, hey... Stranger things have happened. I Stranger I, things have happened. I guess, but you you you're hoping for him. Yeah, you're I'm absolutely hoping. hoping. Yeah, I, it's just it's probably not going to happen. No. Fear X, some very impressive play from Rin in bar, but I don't even know what happened that round. Like, I, it seemed like they were running like somewhat of a roam setup. You know, some people around the middle floor, Rin especially, obviously holding down in bar. And we just saw a good boy fall, Nova fall, three v five. Only two kills they got were from Rin and. Chiefs just had the manpower to collapse on that guy and still retain the man advantage afterwards. Yeah. Bit of a bit of a puzzling round. Again, I don't know if I can really diagnose it all that much aside from a really effective that drone clear from can, Chiefs, Rob. but not the kind of thing we want to see when it's been a very close game so far. It has. It's been entertaining. Like I said, you can say whatever you want about the game, but it's been incredibly close. And uh, you know, like looking at it from from my point of view. Looking at how Jigsaw has played this game, he is absolutely, without a doubt, one of the top five players ever. He has been unbelievable. He, I mean, top three, top three. Maybe even the best. I don't know. I, I don't think I can say that with certainty until he's back in the region that's playing for you know a considerable amount of time. We can then shape up. But it looks like he's got a license. Chiefs have given him a license, and they've said, play your game. We will play around you, play your game. Multiple times, he has been the linchpin in, like, in all of their winning rounds, yeah. he's been the linchpin. And, and and to kind of lend further credence to that point, um, Furex, we didn't really talk about it at the side spot, but Furex were five and six in opening engagements. Whoa. And three of three of those five rounds were rounds they lost. Ironically, one of the rounds they won they lost, was the one round they lost the opening pick. But three of those rounds they won, what was it? The CCTV round where Jigsaw was riding. The last round where Jigsaw was ratting. Yeah. And even in the gym bedroom round, sure, Fierrex won that, but it came a lot closer because he because was making he was that late play. Yeah. So it, he's the kind of player that you can rely on to do that because Fierrex was starting most of those attacks with man advantages, and it was most of the time Jigsaw that was getting a huge multi-frag yeah. to make it competitive for Chiefs and to neutralize that advantage. Plus, low time will just do that to you. Well, you time. know, that's that's also the other, the, uh, the, the counterpoint of... Play style that Furex have constantly brought throughout the many years they've been playing this game. As you've said multiple times, it has been. I mean, it's a, been a double edged sword. It's happening to Chiefs now, right now. I mean, talk yeah. about slow attacks. 5v5, minute left. Furex replaying the Church Arsenal site, and now we're seeing the utility come out, and Quiz is the first one to find one. We got a dirt push, a blue push, and a main stairs push. A lot of angles from which Furex are being assaulted. Oh, we don't have Kitchen Hatch. That's not great. Is this what Papa Jack calls a split push? We still got two Harbor charges, guys, and Kate is banned. There we go. Very, I don't know. There's probably an impact trick of some kind, but geez, the time right now, I mean. It's just. No, there's no impacts. The mute does, mute does not have impacts. Okay. I don't know how why it took them that long to open up Kitchen Hatch. I'm going to keep it so real. I, I think just a commie shoot. And now they've got 20 seconds. They have to find the kills. Fortunately, Tex has already found one. There's a player in War Dirt. There's one that's gone aggressive. Cairo catches him on the cross. There is still a player in Dirt that is stuck. And they could potentially win this round. But that's a really unfortunate placement from Mephi. Oda will close out with a quick 2k. And they're looking... I feel as though the defense is just looking a bit befuddled. You know what's funny? I'm going to disagree with you because I don't think it's looking befuddled. It mm -hmm. just doesn't look like anything. <laughs> like, it just kind of looks like a blank face at the moment. I I don't really know what kind of, like, the wind conditions are on the defense right now. They're not – if they're roaming, it's not really that 
impactful or successful. And if it happened, you know, if they tried it in round seven, they tried to play a bit aggressive, it clearly obviously did not work out. It was cleared. So maybe you go for a bit more anchor setup and no Kane on the board if you're just sitting on the site. Technically speaking, Chief probably could have opened that hatch a lot sooner with Nibana. <laughs> a lot sooner. If there were any if there were any impacts, they were not used, and I'm pretty sure there were no impacts with given the operator lineup. But the only reason that hatch is not open is because I think Chief maybe just like miscommed and like forgot about it. So all you're doing is bunkering. You're losing all the fights once you take them. It just doesn't really seem like Firax kind of have a really strong game plan on the defense right now, aside from the positions they're playing at the beginning. And I think this is a moment where, may, obviously, not saying Dark should not have taken that tactical timeout, but you are really wishing you had another one right here. I mean, it's a 5v3, and these rounds are not looking competitive. Like, Firax literally just look like a blank canvas, and Chiefs are just, like, painting whatever they want on it. And that's the thing. Dark's the only player that can get all five perspectives. Right, so Dark's the only one that can see exactly what's going wrong. All the players can only make assumptions as to what's going wrong. Whether it's where players are getting killed from. Like what saying. It's, yeah, I mean, like, there's so many elements to this that when you're playing, you can't think about all of these different things. Something to note, by the way, so the EU1D went off in the early round, and the reason that usually happens is when you're bringing a Deimos, you want to try to catch somebody moving to death mark them. The two players they found were the Bandit and the Tuberow, oh. who were likely going to be close on this wall trying to Bandit trick it. Yeah. So that is something really big to find. It might not end up having an impact, as it seems he's just Bandit tricking and they're Zodoing anyway, but... It's something they could have worked around. No Mute Jammer as well, so they could try to send a Deimos below on this ball. That's some juggling for you. Let's see, how good is your decision making? Oh my god. Guys, just send the Deimos below. You spotted the bandit. Just send him below. You've got <laughs> control below. Jigsaw's literally down there. Okay. okay we targeted the Fenrir. It's been 30 seconds so far. Let's see how much longer it's going to take. All right, we're at 35 seconds. Are they going to continue to try and focus on this wall? Because there's three players that are trying to help this right now. Three players. And the time is continuing to dwindle. If, you, if Guys, if you want to get... Okay, well, the bandit's not even here anymore, but, like, I definitely think... I think we're overcomplicating it a bit. I think, like... Like, we've... We, not only have we messed up the EMP trick now... And Cairo's gone. Oh, and the zone <laughs> So you said at the end of the last round, maybe the kitchen hatch was a comms issue. Yeah, I'm thinking it's a comms issue, I think, buddy. I'm thinking it's a comms issue for sure. I think there's just something that's not panning out right now. But you know what is? Firepower. And that is keeping Chiefs in this round. And they're going to have to double down. Jigsaw was sniffing that floor hole for like two minutes, by the way. And he finally gets a kill off it. 3v3. Pushing up red stairs. But I mean, look at the time you've wasted. The big thing, at least, is like Demic took... Almost all of his HP and damage from that Exothermic. So he's low health. The Fenrir is low health too. You're kind of bummed you lost the shield and the Deimos, but you've still got. No, he actually doesn't have any flashbang. You couldn't tell the access from this distance. So you really don't have any secondary utility, actually. This is going to be rough. Really wishing that EE1D would be able to do more. I will say, Jigsaw still being up is a, a really important part of Can't this. Count them out. If they can, if they can spearhead this attack with Jigsaw leading the opening kills, I actually think they've got something in this. But they need to make sure that they back themselves. One, they back themselves in, but they back Jigsaw as he makes that move. You can see now they're trying to get into position to open up this. I mean, we're up, the problem is we're just shooting F-Nots at... Bang. That's one. That's one. And there it is. Jigsaw's allowed to swing you're, you're wide. Kidding me. You're Tex has kidding just me. completely opened this round up. But Demic could play <laughs> no spoils. Way. No way. Chiefs Bro. go to map Bro. point. Bro. No. Why has he rotated in front of Metal Window? Why has he done that? <laughs> I don't know where that came Why from. has he done that? Dude, they were literally... What I was about to say before he got the cover, they are saying they're shooting F-Nots with 18 seconds left. They're trying to, like, like find the pixel of yeah. the Dreadmine on top of Condor, and we've got, like, literally no time. And the Fenrir's just like, Hello! <laughs> I wish everyone could see what I could see just then. Carter just physically got out of his chair and walked dude, around. Dude, like, they were... Dude, that round was so cooked. It was... Dude, they took, like, two minutes to open up Plat Wall on a gym bedroom attack. It has never been more Jover for an attacking team. Ma Rob, they couldn't EMP it. They scanned the Deimos, and they didn't track the Bandit from below. It took them two minutes to get in the building. Jigsaw was in there. What was he doing? Looking at a pixel 
in cash. That's what he was doing. He was doing nothing. They won that round. Just don't move. It's 15 seconds left. You don't have to move. I wish I could have a steady cam just following. I'd right, have done now. I'm going to take a drink of water. It's really disappointing for Fear X. So many of these rounds have come down to their own mistakes. I can count already three mission critical mistakes that have been made by Fear X that have led to them losing the round. That's map point. That's all three rounds that Chiefs have the distance on you right now. Huh? It's just... It's rough. Oh, he's goaded. I mean... <laughs> Bro, get me out. Get me out. There's get no me out here. He just shot the Harbury's shot. He shot his Harbury's charge in the wall. There's I think that was intentional because you don't need to. They were trying to... I, I genuinely don't think they realized they killed the they bandit. They just wanted two openings. Yeah, yeah, so... I... That was intentional. I Bro, what a... Dude, this. this guy is... This guy's about to make out with the smoke. What is going on? Did he just... No, okay. No, he did knock him down. Okay. Wait. So, but, but again, this is the second round we've seen Cairo oh. go solo with oh no my support. God. Oh my Demic God. finds Tex Shut and up. things have spiraled out of control. Nice shot from Quiz. It's now back in the realm of doable. But Jigsaw, he's got to find a quick shot. He's got to find a quick peek. Do they know about the player in Garage flanking them right now? They absolutely have an idea. And Good Boy has just been taken out of the server. You know the funniest part too? Diffuser's garage door. No! Diffuser is garage door right now. They so had that? If Jigsaw is in sight, if he wants to get Diffuser, he's got to rotate out. If Quiz wants to do it, they've got to plant close on the breach. When it's open up right beneath the floor, tucked on the breach, there's a hole right there. You do not need to go for kills here. You can recover Diffuser. I know it's rough. I know it's low time. I was about to say, Quiz has got to go recover this. But where the hell are they going to... You still don't have Diffuser. And Jigsaw peaks solo. I feel like this has just been a, a multitude of errors, a please calamity. Don't, don't. He's going to go for the swing. Does he know how close Mephi is? There's no HP. way. There's no way he knows that he's on that door. Where is that kit? Why Why don't we have the kit? He made it all the way back and Mephi finds the easy swing. Someone please... Call is it what are they, what do you call in Canada? Is it triple zero? Is it I don't live here. Yeah, but surely you know. I, I'm not Canadian. I don't live here. Someone call nine one one. I just got confirmation. The Carter is <laughs> dude, dude, struggling. Dude, I'm losing it. Of I'm course, that is a. Let me just say for I'm losing it. <laughs> for legal purposes, that is a joke. Do not call nine one one. Dude, I'm dude, dude. I'm not doing well. How are you feeling out I'm there? I'm not doing well, Rob. That, I'm not doing well. That round has broken our spirits. So, I just like, guys, I want to recap. It was really like, the first two rounds were fine. Like, it yeah. really was like, I don't know what, like, Ferex don't really seem to be, like, doing a whole lot. They're kind of, like, passive and just letting Chiefs do whatever. But, you know, it's fine. Like, it was overall normal. Kitchen hatch opened a bit late, but hey, that happens. Like, and then we've got whatever happened uh, on the gym bedroom round. Just the... Uh, we won't talk just about sp that. Just sprinting around by plat wall and got EMPs, you got the whole planet trying to solve that problem, and everyone's scratching their heads. They're like the guy standing in front of the server. They're just like, not sure what to do here. Then you have that round. So, okay. So obviously, it takes a bit to open flat wall, but we use the fuse charge. We lose an exothermic, but at least we open it up. The bandit... The bandit doesn't wait for the fuse charges to clear. Rin, let's just call it like it is. Rin didn't yeah. wait for the fuse charges to Rin, clear. Rin, Rin, did not wait for the final fuse charge to go. Literally hops on it, steps on a landmine, and blows up. Then we have the Monty. He's all the way up in garage. Solid. That's huge. Problem is, he's by himself. The next guy is getting Burger King around the corner. <laughs> so good boy just flanks and shoots him in the back. What is the reference? Like... And then, and with then, Kit, they run out into a Claymore. Yeah. They, they run out into a Claymore, and then they don't get Diffuser. Quiz is like, I should get Diffuser. And Jigsaw's like, the voices are taking over. He swings. 5v4, though, for uh, Chief. Thank you for the context of last round, and now this round. Yeah. It's been a, a funny old uh, couple of rounds.
It was a very normal game up until this it point. It was so normal. It was like very, very normal. A couple a of like rat plays. That's very all good. chill eight rounds. The only weird thing was like, yeah, Phoenix had a bit of a droning problem, but hey, that happens. A lot of good teams have that issue. And now we're here. Now it's 6-4. Chief's still on match point. That's the thing. The team that is being like exceptionally silly had a three round buffer and still won one of the rounds where they did a little bit of trolling. Yeah. Like a little bit. A little bit. But they got the 5v4. They've taken on Good Boy, who's the one who hit that garage flank last time. You could be feel really good about uh, getting that kill. And here. I think the Hibana actually just got Kitchen Hatch or just put the ex Kyros down, so. Prioritizing things well. No roam from Furex, or at least no roam that has had any impact whatsoever. Is the only basically the only notable damage that has been done was lethal one to Good Boy and over half of Rin's health. So you've got four players sitting on the site with like no Azami to kind of remold it to make it more advantageous to play. It's it's rough. It's really difficult. I don't think there's shield or anything. AK Rax either, so... Oh, they just killed the guy blue. They can just walk yep. down. Now. And now they've got dirt information. Two players just fall in quick succession. Demic over the last game here on the first map of this series. But you can stick a fork in this one because it's absolutely well and truly almost there. We're really We're close, close now. We're but you can plan. nearly do it. You can... Take the fork back out for a second and sit on it while it's cool Nova a tries a one versus five. It's really hot. And it's, it, it's, it's still there. Hotter. It, it's getting hotter, but 32 HP. I don't really like the gravy on that one. And, and you well can done. stick your fork back in it because it's done. <laughs> wow. Hey, what a strange listen, end to the match. Some like it hot and some like it when the heat is on. And that is what Chiefs were putting Fear X through. They were putting them to the torch that game. Were we doing some trolling in the middle of that half? Yes. But thankfully, that was the anomaly overall. When you had those basement attacks, you had everything else. Chiefs were good yep. on that second on that second half, and I think in hindsight, not necessarily in terms of how the rounds actually played out, but just in terms of their chance in this game. I think Burex left a lot of rounds on the table on their defensive half that I think would have made this game a lot more competitive. Maybe throwing out that top floor, not allowing that flank, doesn't solve everything. As Oda gets two kills on, I believe, the second basement attack uh, between Chiefs and Furex, but makes it better if you. Uh, Able to drone out some other positions, find Jigsaw close on the construction door. Maybe you win that round, and maybe Chiefs still win. I think the broader trend of that attack was, even if the coordination wasn't there, the shots were hitting for yes. Chiefs very yep. consistently, especially for Jigsaw. Yep. I think if you fix some of those errors, I think Ferex just have maybe a bit more workable of a game on that attack side, and it didn't happen. Now we have a very clean win for Chiefs, 7-4. Yeah, and we, you know, we, we move forward with the intent in mind of that conversation. For me, you take the positives away for both teams. I think that we, we definitely saw enough from Fear X to say this is going to be a competitive series. The shield play? Highlight for me. Uh, um, that, definitely the highlight. Yeah, absolutely. I don't think there's any two ways about it. I think that's probably the e that, that is probably one of yeah. the easiest takeaways, right? It wasn't it's perfect, like, but definitely the best thing. No, it, it, it found them openings. It continued to put them into positions that could have won them rounds. Yeah, fi fixed one of the biggest problems they have, which is slow attacks by mitigating those downsides. Yeah, yeah. and it kind of like... One, it allows you to get in the building quicker. Two, it allows you to execute later and not have to worry about opening engagements. And three, it's super difficult to kill. <laughs> it's really hard to kill if you don't have a C4, just like ready and waiting. We're in the shield meta. Who would have thought are. that it was a, a critical part of that game? But if you're talking about then the strengths for Chiefs, I think it absolutely was just the individual performances. I think it was very clear, even in rounds they won, that this was their first land game yep. as a roster. I think it was very, very clear. It's... Sure, maybe maybe Ode is the only one who maybe hasn't skipped a beat whatsoever. Who knows? But Texas has a lot of land experience. What, four years out of date at this point. You got to get back into it. Oh, and then Cairo, Quiz, and then, well, oh, yeah, Jigsaw, because Jigsaw hasn't been here since Copenhagen. You have a lot of players who either have not landed at all or have not been in land in at least a year plus. Yep. So you're, you got some things to figure out. And the fact that it was very clear that they needed to get settled in and get comfortable on the comms and they still got a 7-4, that's a good omen for map two. I would say so. I would say so. It, it, it leans well as we head to Skyscraper. Um, but look, again, I, I think the, the scoreboard kind of reiterates the conversation of, yes, it was close. But there was obviously one team that just looked better. Yep. And Chiefs take away a fair bit out of this map. I think that they've... One thing that I, I really want to be careful of and something that we need to monitor as we head through this series is what is the impact Jigsaw's going to have, right? He's got that license. It's very, very clear he's got a license. But 
if Fear X tidy up and 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 stop making, uh, I, I don't want to say simple errors, but it's a simple error. When does that start to kind of slowly shift into the realm or, of, of Fear X? Or on the opposite side, you have Nova who played Shields in four of the six rounds, and he's only got a thirty-six percent cost. I mean, he's getting. You mentioned that Nova can be a very hot, you know, hit or miss, hot and cold player. This was a cold game. That's really well, cold. And cold in the bad way, not cold as in like that was freezing. Like cold as in you've got to turn the heat on. Yeah, that's terrible. Yeah, five and ten. Two of those kills came in the first round. That double kill on Blitz. Uh, he, I believe he got you know another opening kill uh, later on when he was playing Bonte. Yep. So he was. You know, he had, you know, a bit of outsized impact on those shields, but overall it was a really rough game for him. And obviously, you know, one player does not make the faults of a roster. This was a 7-4, and I think everybody was having difficulty, but everyone on Fear X had a 64 to 73% cost. Yep. Everyone had at least seven kills. Nova is a bit of the outlier, and he's playing a very important role on the attacking side. And while when they were winning rounds, he was having impact, but when they were losing rounds, he was getting c 4 outside of doorways, getting shot in the back of the head on one of the defining operators for the meta and for this team. I could have put it in a bit of myself. Oh, I really am quite something. <laughs> I would not have said that. But, have said but that. no, it's it, it's a bit of a difficult position that they might find it, themselves it in, especially going into Skyscraper next game. That is something that you're really going to want on your attacking side. I mean, I believe, yeah. it, I believe it is Chief's pick, especially, you know, since Fear X are on the defense. I, I doubt that Fear X would pick that map, or I doubt Fear X would pick that map. The Chiefs are like... Yeah, we're attacking on Skyscraper first. I, I just know. I just don't. I don't. No team would do that. But Fear X, you know, it will take a bit for them to get on attack. They will start with those defenses first. Maybe they could build a bit of a comfortable buffer to get to that side. But Skyscraper is a hard map to attack. Fear X are really reliant on their shields on Clubhouse, a map that is not nearly as defender sided. Yeah. And if they're losing Nova in important moments like that, it's not going to be an attacker sided <laughs> Skyscraper for them. No, no, that's fair. That's fair. And I think, like, you know, kind of just looking back, the one thing that gives me hope is across 19 maps over the last two months, Nova has held a 71% cost. So that's Whole actually- The team really has a really high cost. Yeah, they've actually, I think every single player barring Demic who's at 69%, they all have 70 and yeah. higher. So it really goes to show that they do have an impactful roster altogether. I'm hoping this is the anomaly. And again, I'm just, I'm kind of, I'm hoping that Nova's performance, this is just part of that up and down trend. Well, that's why we've got a second map. We have Skyscraper coming up right after this. Maybe our final map of the day. So don't go anywhere. The APAC Showdown will be right back after this. Uh, uh, tap tap, yeah, I want that. Uh, uh, no lines, I don't cut back. Uh, uh, sweet, salty, and all that. Uh, uh, let loose, come get that. Can you play that back, back, back? Can you run that back, back, back? I'm trying to play that back, back, back. I want that. Hey, uh, tap tap, let's go, let's go. Tap tap, let's go, let's go. Tap tap, let's go, let's go. Right here, can you feel? Let's go. Tap tap, let's go, let's go. Tap tap, let's go, let's go. Tap tap, let's go, let's go. Right here, can you feel that? Ooh, you feel that? Ooh, the real back? Ooh, I'm still that? Ooh, you catch that? Ooh, I guess that? Uh, the best back? Yeah, yeah. 30,000 up on my pallet. Might jump out if I'm wildin'. Catch my flow, I'm so stylish. Uh, tap tap, real smooth. Can you play that back, back, back? Can you run that back, back, back? I'm trying to play that back, back, back. I want that. Hey, uh. Tap, tap, let's go, let's go. Tap, tap, let's go, let's go. Tap, tap, let's go, let's go. Right here, can you feel? Let's go.
two of this one. Skyscraper is where we head, and hopefully, we pray, we pray, Firex stop messing about. Couple of rounds there, very interesting. Uh, Chiefs as well had many pitfalls of their own. However, did they? Yeah, one or two. Did they? I wasn't aware of that. I wasn't aware of that, Rob. That was, it the, just completely, for, completely missed me. For the viewers at home that didn't watch Map One, I'm gonna break it down for them real quick. So Chiefs played a good game overall. Is like the thing I want to talk about, right? Yeah. It's like Chiefs overall played well, specifically individually and mechanically. Yep. Jigsaw had a lot of really good positioning on the defense that gave Chiefs a leg up in rounds that, frankly, they looked very, very unfavored to win. Especially sure. with Fiorx winning five of the six opening engagements, you need somebody to make plays like that. Then on the attack, strong attack on basement. Down in gym bedroom, it takes a minute and 40 seconds to open up plat wall on a gym bedroom attack with Thatcher and Deimos having spotted the bandit in the first two seconds of the round. And then the next round is CCTV, and the Monty is alone in rafters, like face-to-face -face with the smoke, and gets flanked because nobody's holding the angle. I'm getting flashbacks. So here's, here's the thing, right? And they won one of those rounds, by the way. They won gym bedroom, so it didn't matter in the end. Overall, it was a good game. The floor is real low <laughs> between Firax and Chiefs. What about the, the ceiling? The average, decent. The average yeah. is like right in the middle, right? The floor of where we can go, not great. The ceiling, yet to be seen. I think for Firax, the ceiling was the first round. I think that was the best they looked. The blitz came in through dirt. Sure, it's low time, but he gets the kills. He gets this control. It's fantastic. So for Chiefs, the first two attacks, that was their ceiling. Especially okay. that first baseman attack for them, too. Yeah. So Firax, you'd say it's like a one kind of home at the moment. With yeah, like a exactly. basement and a... Yeah, and, and there's, for, the, and for there's Chiefs, the floor and then there's the basement. Yeah, and for Chiefs, they've got like a bunker under the basement, okay. then the basement, <laughs> so. but they also have a second floor. Okay. So they've, they've got, got floor. an attic. Yeah, I would, they've got you an You wouldn't attic. call it a floor, would they've, you? It's just an attic. I mean, you could have a second floor, like those do exist. You, yeah, I, but, I but would, house, you, would you... So my you first house had a second floor, no attic. But, but that's what I'm Like an attic's smaller, right? So is the ceiling... The two floor, or yeah, is, but it, when you're is talking it a floor about, and an attic? When you're talking about ceiling in the like capacity of like, what is this team ceiling? What are we the ceiling, saying, the ceiling, you started this. You should have known what you were getting into when you decided to cast me. When you say a team has a ceiling, you're not talking about it in terms of the breadth. You're not saying like, <laughs> they have a really wide ceiling. <laughs> what? Hang on a second. Where you're saying they have a really high ceiling, which, in, which what we're talking about is like a limit, right? We're talking about like, their scale yes, represented is, vertically. Is an attic smaller than a, f a full floor? I mean, like... Would the roof of an attic be smaller than a... In a lot of houses, the attic is the length and the width of the roof. It just is angled at the top. So yes, technically, dimensionally, it's smaller. But when you're using the ceiling analogy, you're using... You're referring to the bottom. We'll, we'll have to agree to disagree because in Australia, we don't have these attics that are like literal rooms on top of our houses. I'm not saying it's a literal room. I'm just, I don't, I don't now I'm done with this conversation. <laughs> okay? Now I'm done. Uh, I hope you all followed uh, along at home because that was fun. A lot of my arguments like make real sense to me and it's just like nobody else gets it. So is the problem, let, let me just. I don't. <laughs> is the problem you or is the problem everyone else? I, it's got to be everyone else. It's got to be everyone else. Yeah, for sure. Listen, it all comes back at the end, all right? Yeah. I'm moving my way through there. I'm weaving my way through. Yeah, no, no that's fair. That's fair. So we're, we got Skyscraper coming up next, everybody. Uh, as you can see... Uh, I have been again. I was about to say, thankfully, even though you and I were messing around quite heavily, we were rewarded by some actual interesting bands to yes. talk about. Two maps in a row, by the way. I got to say, some really out-of-left-field bands. Yep. Double Mav Band, two games in a row. And then the follow-up. From Chiefs is a mute ban to start. Yeah, that's an interesting one. I mean, th think about it this way, right? Like, you might be thinking, well, if you wanted to ban Hard Breach, then why didn't you just ban the K? That's what they did as the follow up. Well, what it probably is, think of how often Chiefs were running Deimos. Think of how much they wanted to try and use that line. They put Jigsaw on the lion. Put great op for Jigsaw, by the way, because he literally could stare at a hole in the floor. And they'd be like, Jigsaw, E, 1D, and he presses four and then keeps holding the angle. Um,. But they've been playing demos every single time, and by taking mute off the board when you're attacking on Skyscraper and you need every advantage you can get, this is like, we are going all in mm. on Lion, Demos, probably Dokubi too, with those yeah. mute jammers gone, so you can call effectively, and they could change, but we literally see all three of those ops right now. That's I'm sure they're all changing, that's it, that's silly. No, no, hopefully they don't, because that could, this will turn out to be a very interesting round if they don't. 
I mean, this is the this is the kind of like, you know, like making a cowboy making you dance by shooting your feet. Kind exactly. Of like it's gonna it's gonna be one of those games. If if yeah, with, with them locking this in, if this is how Chiefs are really gonna try to play this, and the edge they're gonna try to get on this map is using the E1D to mark people that might be moving. The doe could be called to kind of walk up staircases to demos too. That really is the strategy that, not saying necessarily Chiefs are on that same level, but that's the strategy we've seen a lot of really good skyscraper teams win attacks on this map, is getting commanding control of either black stairs yep. or main stairs, not really clearing across. It's having doe could be able to flank up black stairs, having demos be able to take a fight with somebody through the floor in karaoke. I will see them execute it, but it's a really good formula for teams that can't make it. Well, let's see whether Chiefs continue on their trend of slower rounds, because I'll be honest, the, the pace feels slower than what we saw from Stage 2 from them. It's made up and over the top. It does force Cairo, oh. not Cairo, sorry, Nova, out into the open. And just like that, there's a, a quick double end. This is just going to go from bad to worse. As you said, dance. Dance. Move. Run. Move. You better run. Have fun. <laughs> I actually got to commend him for running that long. That was actually kind of impressive. Yeah, he wasn't messing about. He was not messing about. Now they've, they've all fallen back to the side. And Quiz has fallen. Um, I will say, uh, of the Deathmark Dragon coming out, as you can see, um, all of all the operators you could have lost, Bravo probably the one you're totally fine with. Because yeah. look at this lineup right now. I mean, you could hack in a Rooney Gate that might save you some time later, but ideally you should be able to clear those no problem. Kind of, we're kind of beyond hack and bandit batteries at that point. The early <laughs> round has kind of ended. That kind of stuff is no longer really something we need to worry about. But as the Deathmark trackers found, look at the players you can find. There's very little, so they're all going to be holding important positions. But the warden is likely going to be holding close. The smoke. Never mind. The warden is downstairs. Bang. Oh wow. wow. Okay. They must have had a ping on that. That uh, absolutely. I mean, that's a really nice find too. Jigsaw cuts down Devin. I mean, I thought that this could, you know, given the confidence and the strategy they were pulling with that off and the off lineup, oh, I thought it was wow. going to be a good showing. That was a dominant start for Chiefs. I mean, Rob, they clear off exhibition. I thought it was going to be like maybe a direct black take, just yeah. trying to like focus pressure on that side. They go for the full clear. They nade the guy on house. I will say he whiffs an entire mag on a Deimos that not only was not looking at him, but then ran away and was not shooting at him. So... Got to gotta point that out. Was that the Nova? <laughs> was that the Nova? I don't know. The, the uh, Nova boy. I don't think it was, actually. Okay. Because I don't think he was Legion. Oh, no, it was Nova, actually. It was Nova. All right, well, that's that's not good. Um, that but the Legion whiffs that, whiffs that mag. That it cannot be stated. Huge yep. impact there. And sure, they don't kill the Warden, but they're able to find two of those players roaming on the top floor. They only lose a clutch when there was really nothing that I think is like super high priority to hack on that defense. Really great start that used everything from the EE1D to the death marks. I don't think they used a Dokeby call, but frankly, if they did, they did need to. Yeah. And now, look, they, they're going to double down with the exact same lineup. I mean, this is a... I'm going to find this really interesting from Chiefs if they continue to kind of track the same pace. Again, finding... Those early two picks, they were very early, but not Super. not 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 like you know mind blowingly early. I'm well, just gonna go back and have a quick but both those gunfights happened within a minute. I think it was after two thirty, but it was certainly I think kind of closer like uh, two o'clock or two fifteen. Yeah, two o five. Okay, yeah. So so before the first minute, but kind of well after you know the early round has begun. But I think I I think this strategy just leaning fully into it. I think it is really good. Of course, you know when. This is always the problem with how few bands we have. You're always leaving important stuff on the table. I mean, yep. public enemy number one is the zombie. Literally one of the best operators in the, in the game, but also on this map, I would argue is probably the best operator on this map. Yep. She's in she's in play, but if you can navigate around those kibas, if you can kill the people around main stairs or black stairs and really just make it so you don't even need to destroy the kibas, but if you want to, you got a DMR. Yep. I was going to say two, but Kyra's got the boss G. Honestly, like, shout out anyone who's down to play with Boss G. Like, I am their biggest fan. This could be a really <laughs> early engagement. But it settles back down again. Chiefs, th this will now be the only issue with what they're bringing. Yeah. Is if they're unable to find any kind of openings... Yeah. If they're unable to track the time properly, they're going to find themselves in a lot of trouble. Neffy tries to swing with the Boss G at close oh! range, and it doesn't pan out. Rin 
finding a crucial kill on Oda. The pressure is once again alleviated for Chiefs, but they've still got to lock these in. Good boy continues to fight. I'm really impressed with Fear X's ability to continue to take these fights. Honestly, like, the only reason that Good Boy might not end up being MVP of the round is because he only down text yep. and didn't and was not able to finish him off. If he's able to kill the Deimos there, I mean, that is such a good play. Even only two rounds in, as a whole, that's going to be a great play. Because if you take out the Deimos, a key element of their strategy, especially when they're about to attack a site with soft floors, look at how much time has been since Tex was first down. It's been like 45 seconds. Yeah. He's, of course, low HP, but it's going to be really difficult to get in the position down below with only one death mark, get information on somebody in Office Exhibition or Samurai. It's going to be really hard now, especially with the Fuser all the way outside. They've just had to rotate out, repel back up now. They've got a 4v3, but so much has been sunk into just reviving Tex, getting the Diffuser, and getting even close to the bomb site. As the final death mark goes out, there's nobody nearby to capitalize off of this. This is not really going to be impactful. Furex need to overperform. Somebody's got to go big, but they've got the positions to do it. And it has to make the first yeah, engagement. That, for me, that had to be a pretty good deal. That had to be the one that turned the tide. And now, good boy, 10 HP. There's just one damage that's all that's needed. But look at the time. This is what we said. This might be the point in which Furex could turn this around. Jigsaw goes down. Cairo hasn't yet taken the fight, but eventually swings with about maybe a, seconds. Yeah, a, a second 0.5 left on that clock that is horrendously you know close you know what's funny i i can't wait to find it's out kind of a diff i mean obviously he won it kind of a difficult swing when you've only got two shots in your primary isn't it yeah two i mean with, with like the dokabi the boss g like you he, he pulled out with the he no, had the sign on, yeah. no i know he, he he had the smg 12 out but if you're running with the boss g sure you can run that with it out but that's the main primary you're probably going to be using a lot of the time yeah so it's obviously glad, you know, good to get the ammo. It has a lot of kills, but you know, you really only got that SMG. So if you're going to be doing a lot of shooting, but you really only got one option to make that gunfight with. It was uh, nothing impactful. Just something funny because the loadout choices. You really better hope you've got enough. You're, you can control the SMG 12 recoil. Another interesting point here, Carl. I mean, they have to. You've lost two. You've lost two defenses out of the gate on skyscraper. You got no. You got to take the tech time. But like this is twice now we've seen two rounds, only two rounds being lost. Instant attack. Instant. There's I, no second thought on that. Yeah, Dark was Dark was super proactive about it on Clubhouse, which I think paid off in the first half. And as we got to the second half, I think really, especially considering the attack timeout, it was like, wow, you really needed to run up the score on that attack because yeah. your defenses just were very uninspired. Chiefs got all the control they wanted. But we have an early attack here for a much more simple reason. You have lost both primary sides on Skyscraper right out of the gate. That round was close. It came down to 1v1. The other one was not. It was an incredibly dominant round. Four people from Chiefs were alive by the end of a T karaoke attack. That's insane. Like, yeah. that is very, very rare to happen on this one. And, like, Chiefs are executing their formula well, more so in that first it. round. Like, they have made good use of the Deimos, the Dokubi, and the Lion. Yep. Less so in that second round. They were really struggling to power through that guy on main stage, but... At least in tier karaoke, they start we're going to. They did well with it, but they're now bringing the bees. The fact, like the fact, you're taking attack timeout two rounds in on your defensive half a skyscraper. You better win four after this. I am shocked that the bees have been doing well for this. Why is that? I just feel like they have so much intel. Have, Bring it all. I they want it all. Have so much intel gathering. It's not even funny. It, it's going to be a Black Stairs take, though. And this is how I thought they were going to use this lineup initially. I yeah. thought they were going to have the Deimos below to try to find the smoke, either playing behind the shield or playing on the karaoke rotate. Then you likely maybe send the Dokubi up the stairs with the Osa pushing in from the Black Stairs door. So when I thought, when I saw this lineup and thought, how are they going to do this? It was this attack that's probably going to happen, was the immediate thing I thought. That green gonna come into play. I probably block stairs door to my guess. Yeah. Try and get info on the rotate. Oh, talk about rat positions. My goodness. Dude. Tucked away engagement. Didn't even use a death mark for that. He just took the fight. Yeah, why not? I mean that's just the that's just built diff. It's what we do down in those. <laughs> <laughs> no, honestly, I'm I'm very, very happy with the way that Chiefs have opened up this this campaign. This is a, a very, very serious opportunity for them. And to see them playing with this much gusto and determination, it's a good it's a good note. It's fantastic. And 
I think something you guys, you know, maybe might be realizing right now is Tex does not have to kill this Azami. Because when you put the death mark on her, if you sell on the floor, you're likely going to die. So she's got to rotate out, and then you know karaoke. Yeah. The only play per person you got to worry about is Mephi and Geisha right now. You got a minute 18 seconds to do I look how much you tell Rice to run the floor with a minute. They've pretty much suffocated these sites now. There's no extensions, no runs. Jigsaw. This guy. I mean, this is not going to be a fun, a fun time at all. Quiz has taken down Rin in the meantime, and things continue to go from bad to worse for Fearex. Nova, with a lovely C4, has equaled things out just in the slightest. It's given them some breathing room. You can see Chiefs immediately reverted their attack. But this main stairs push has been difficult two rounds in a row now for Chiefs. Like, we've not been able to get control of Geisha, and they are so worried at taking that 1v1. They have refused to take it two rounds in a row, and they've only got 30 seconds now because of it. Something's got to give. It really feels like this pressure might just end up being too much. If Fearex can find some power positions here, if they can get into these angles to, you know, force Chiefs out into the open, which it kind of feels like they're about to do. You're going to play it tucked away well behind Karaoke, unfortunately, not winning that gunfight to begin with. Players are losing HP, but it doesn't matter. They're staying alive. Not anymore. Seven seconds left on this clock, and that is a critical fight for Mephi. They still are yet to get this kit down, not with seconds again. Cairo swings with the boss G. Two rounds in a row have come down to the wire. I mean, it's fine that it's happening on your attacking half a skyscraper, but I, like, I have not seen a team in a long time, like, visibly scared to take a gunfight when they have exact intel on where that player is. I mean, two rounds now, they have put, like, two death marks on the guy main stairs. It was Vigil on Office Exhibition. It was Valkyrie this time. And they have just, like, refused to push. Yep. Now, to be fair, you know, I, I said, you know, maybe they should take Geisha control. They did actually need to take it. They couldn't just move in because the bandit was playing there. It wasn't for free. But, like, at some point... You just gotta be confident. Like, you gotta a 4v3. If you're gonna power the guy main stairs, you've got a man advantage. You've got a 2v1. You've got intel on where he is. As long as you don't stack on top of each other, odds are you can get that trade. And they are just shaking to take that fight. I can't believe how close that was again. Yeah, and, and listen, ultimately is like, you know, I'm really harping on that. They're still 3-0 and on their attacking yeah. side. Like, yeah. it's it's just like a very obvious thing I see, but they're, they've still not lost a single attacking round so yeah. far, and they've done their work. They can keep making mistakes like that, but even if they, if they just keep winning rounds of triple zero, I don't care. Yeah. Well, now, Fear X are in probably the worst position. 3-0 down. After the timeout. After your timeout. And not only that, but these last two rounds have been convincing up until the last second. It's, literally, it, it's actually so funny. It is like a lot of teams like feel a struggle to get into the building. Yeah. And they got to bumble their way through an execute that's not set up. Chiefs are really decisive in their early round. And then their mid-rounding is just like very shaky, <laughs> very nervous. Shout out the US League. <laughs> it, I mean, it's honestly probably a lot of nerves. It's, it's well, I could only imagine. I could only imagine. You've got three players that really haven't been to a land in a very I mean, let's just say four players. They haven't been to a land in a very long time. Uh, two of them have never been to an international land, so you know. A little bit of an opening for quiz here. Oh, quiz. If I have to watch another Proning. prone pick, I'm gonna lose my mind. Literally, literally just prone under the cast I'm, I'm telling you. Fortunately, uh the IQ finding out that proning is not that quiet. <laughs> no. Good cutoff, though. Yeah, lovely cutoff. You got one guy down below. You had a person IQ on the opposite side. His stuff is absolutely on an island. And they double down. In fact, triple down to try and get him back up. But now, this is awful. Oh, my God. This is absolutely awful. Fear X have just been dismantled a dragon. And I don't mean awful in the sense of... Oh, my God. You've got a fourth guy on this. This is not... Is he about to lose this fight? I don't think they know he's there. Oh, oh my, my God. God. Okay, I take it back. I was trying to say it's not awful because it's like... It, I, I was just saying it's awful in general to, to be in that position. You are actively putting yourself into that position. You lose one and you swing with four. It's like... If you see Saving Private Ryan... 
You like no, and you know the whole point of the movie is they need to save Private Ryan. Yep. Was so they Private Ryan? They did not save Private Ryan. <laughs> Because the whole point of the movie is, like, a lot of people, like, you know, don't make it to the end and things like that. It's like, but... Small it's this, spoilers! It's this, well, sorry. It's this Pyrrhic victory. They still complete their mission. Private Ryan gets to go home to his family. Spoilers! Dude, it came out in the 90s. <laughs> I wasn't even born for that movie. What were you, like, 85 when that movie came oh, out? Oh, okay, what, just because I'm bald? You were probably in high school when Spielberg's first directing game came out. Do you, do you know, do you know what it, do you know what uh, his, first, his first big directing gig was? No, but I have he? I have no doubt you do. <laughs> I have no doubt that you do. Please, please, everyone Actually, at home, listen in, listen I in. I don't know if it was the first gig, but before he did any big films, at a young age, he directed the first episode of the hit detective show Columbo. There's Chowder. Links, everyone. He's really content with that reference. Actually. Links, everyone. What am, I, what am I supposed to talk about? It is a 4-0 on Skyscraper Attack, and the round we just saw, a guy got down, and they sent not one, not two, but three people to pick him back up, and they weren't able to pick him back up. You can talk about whatever you want, but when you call me old as shit, <laughs> then the conversation's gonna change. You had it coming. You had it coming. I thought that was a nice guy. You? There are a lot of nice old people. In fact, there's a lot of them. Usually whole homes filled of them. Well, that's depressing. Yeah, that one my leg. Death Mark Tracker spots the Legion on top of house stairs. Thankfully, there's like also like four people on this realm at the moment, so you might find one, but Methy will retake the angle close. This is kind of a good way to counteract the strategy the Chiefs are going for. Just kind of overload these staircases with too much bodies that you don't have all the intel, but I hope the call goes out and... Oh my god. I was like, that's gotta be the... I was like, oh, he's gotta be death mark track. No, that guy was taking shots through the floor. Yep. There we go. I think that's the third... That, not, not, I think that is the first opening kill Firax have found this entire map. On the demos, too. We're yep. still running the trifecta um, of those Intel operators that synergize so well. But to take out a big piece of that, even though it hasn't had as much impact as I thought it would... Oh, look at this. Finally, nobody on main stairs, and they take full advantage of it. But Jigsaw, pushing a little deeper, ends up overplaying his hand. Demix still holds Geisha, and all they get is a 4v3. Cairo on the boss G. I tell you what, it's making it work. Otis just sent it in. If he finds that kill, maybe things turn aside. It is a 2 versus 3 after all. Quiz, the only player that remains, will swiftly be shut down, and Fear X continue the trend of the opening kill, converting into a round win. I mean, I, I don't know what else to say about that round. Is like we have the demos go down early, obviously. Yet somehow Jigsaw, they've been struggling with main stairs so yep. many times. They've yep. been struggling when there's a guy playing there. Jigsaw's like, oh my god, there's it's nobody free. there. It's free. I'm gonna push up. He puts like eight shots in the bandit's arm, and the bandit on shot seven is like, wait, I think I'm getting shot right now. Yeah, he backs off the drum. Funny. And Jigsaw, I think, just over aggresses a little bit there. You obviously, you know, he had that opening, yeah. and when you fire the first few shots, odds are nobody's going to react, but if you're pushing deeper and you fired like seven DMR shots and you never cleared Geisha, that guy's going to peek the holes. He's yeah. going to be able to do it safely and not avail himself to the breach of the window, and I think he just gets a bit over-aggressive there, and because of the early kill on the Tex, you might be 4-0 on Skyscraper attacks up until that point, but you're not you're not coming back from that. I guess it just goes hand-in-hand hand when you lose your own pick. Yeah. You scramble to try and find something, and he's probably just, he's happy to take that gamble and find that kill. Oh, yeah, and, and I think ultimately it was a gamble, but if you're weighing kind of the risk factors, you're pushing deeper in a man disadvantage situation when the very angle you're going to get killed from hasn't been cleared yeah. and hasn't been taken control. Like, the guy can peek you for free. I, no, I see your point. Like, no, 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 100%. I'm not saying it's invalid, but no. it's like if you're if you're weighing the risks, you kind of have to take that swing knowing what will happen, and if yeah. it doesn't happen, your team's in a 3v5. I, I, as a coach, would also be, like, if I was to ever coach, I'd be saying it's a 4 versus it's 5. It's a little league team. It's <laughs> Yeah, and you can you can be the captain. True, I would. I'd fit right in. Shut up, Frodo. It's my turn to talk. He literally saves the world. Yeah, I'm Frodo. Bro, you kidding me? No, no, no. I he resisted does not the save, evil. He does not save the world. Uh, yeah, you gonna say Samwise Gamgee saves Sam the world? Gamgee. Yes, he gets I know. carried the whole way, and then guess what happens when he gets to Mount Doom? He doesn't throw the ring in the goddamn. That's lava. true. Gollum knocks it out of his hand. That's a fair point. Like, I'm I'm sorry, but Frodo was useless. 
And you can never tell me otherwise. All right. He's very similar to you, complaining all the time. Oh, this hey, burden's too heavy Hey, to I carry. resent that. I resent that, actually. <sighs> anyway. Minute in, and we have a lot of intel gathering, but not a lot of capitalization off it. They found the Vigil. We'll find him again, but again with this ERC. They try to they try to track him, and it's neutralized completely. While this ERC is activated. No way, man. No <laughs> way. Oh, my God. I mean, he's... That gamble really did not pay off. Hello. Almost gets away scot-free. Tex able to finish him off through the floor, but my oh my, that was the guy there. All right, he's gone now. Well, it's been a weird opening round, but it's a 5v3. Yeah. Man and a half in, Rob. Yeah, Firex is just throwing everything at the wall when it comes to these individual gunfights. I mean, that's probably one of the most brazen peaks I've ever seen from someone. Yeah. Impacts into a boss G. Well, not only impacts, like, not only impacts into a boss G, throws the impact on the floor, doesn't win the fight, they now have a complete angle on the only spot you can rotate from. <laughs> Uh, but at least they're fun, at le look. At least they're at least they're getting in the face of Chiefs. They're he went down swinging, and that's fine. As long as you go down, you're trying. Speaking of, that's going to be good boy right here. As the flashes are coming in at three v four, you've got to go down and take oh, one with you. Oh, that's big. That's big. And it's actually pushed the other player away. But oh, well. well, unfortunately, when you lose the rest of your team, I guess it did the Chiefs are just going to collapse. Five one skyscraper attacking half. I don't even know what to say to that. There's I mean, not much it's, to say. It, it's not like it was dominant. I mean, two of those rounds did come down to either 1v1s or kills with only a second remaining. So it wasn't this, like, landslide victory, clean sweep for Chiefs, but it's still a 5-1. Yeah. It doesn't matter how it was done. The fact that you went up five rounds on objectively the worst side on Skyscraper, sure, it's their pick, but geez, that's like, you're never going to expect that to happen. Team might say, oh, yeah, you know, we're that good. We expect it to happen. No, you didn't. Yeah. Shut up. You did not expect it. Like, you might feel like you have the ceiling to go 6 out. Nobody thinks they're winning five skyscraper attacks, let alone four of them in a row. Yeah, it's wild. It's wild. I, I think as well, Chiefs have... That's a that's a strat that I have... I've been mean, casting for a very long time. hosting for a very long time now. Casting cast for, as well. for a while. I used to cast. I, I, haven't, I haven't seen a strat like that and stuck to it, executed round in and round out. Maybe yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of... I mean, it's, you know, just because of, especially once you get to the higher and higher level, teams are just pulling out so many things, throwing so many different things into a round that you don't often see something as simple as one op ban or, yeah. or you know, a strategy, then informing an op ban, yep. and then playing entirely around that. Yeah. Just because the it's literally just because of how, of because of how few ban slots there are, every team is going to ban a shield, maybe two. Then you're gonna ban like either Azami or Fenrir or Valkyrie or Mira or something like that. An operator that is either powerful everywhere or really powerful in a specific map. Yep. We just don't see something like that anymore with these two ban slots where a team bans a character and then entirely revolves around abusing that weakness. And think of how long it took them to like adapt effectively. Like we saw the vigil every round after the first, but I really didn't feel like it made that much of a difference in the end. Unfortunately. I don't know whether the Vigil needed to get more aggressive or take more bites, whatever it may have been, but it definitely did not have that same kind of attack, uh, sorry, that same kind of impact that you would have expected. Jigsaw goes down early here. Um, that's the, that is the issue when you are at the forefront of most of these fights eventually. And with Wamai gone, I mean, this uh, Black Steer Shield, a bit of a difficult spot projectile wise. You got a you got a shield waiting for you to make any yeah. mistake. I mean, Tex is gonna have to expend all of these, and we got a death mark, a blitz, likely Candelas and Grims as well. He's gonna need a lot of help to get out of this one. He is just buying time because the way it stands right now, not for any fault of his own, own he is like a dead man walking with all this utility trained right at him. Gun Tex, this is where you make your money. How much can you slow this down? Yeah, not just, at all. There's nothing. Do, no, like. that's very difficult. There's no one that can support you there either from Chiefs. There's like there's zero no. support. You're you're nothing. I, and es especially because of like the Candela's blinding the guy top black, you've got the resources to look at the vertical angles too if somebody's covering you. Like I don't know if that's where they, you know Well they didn't even win the fight because they got Jigsaw earlier, so you might lose good boy on the game but you've got Black Stairs control, but quiz, look at this flank right now, looking to retake the stairs. Oh my god, and the shield is looking away. Oh my oh! god, that's that is not the first time this series that has happened. Nova has done that twice now in this best of three. That is unbelievable timing or even better reactions. 
1v1 on the back side, though. Candela goes out. Oh, you got to swing ahead of that Cairo. No, you're warded. Doesn't matter. Kill him anyway. Oh, no. And Otis found a kill in the meantime. This is doable for Cairo, oh, okay, but... but oh, he's in I mean, angle. Rin's just waiting for him in the end. That's very unfortunate. It is. Especially as... No, it was very quick, but... Is sprinting into the angle that his teammate did just get shot by. But still, for Chiefs... What do you do there? Like, you lose Jigsaw early on, and you're playing a guy on top of Black Stairs, and the team has basically... Like, the attack has basically brought an operator lineup that is built to not just defeat it, but to smash that shield and yeah. the player behind it into pieces. Yeah, good luck playing yeah. power positions. Yeah, Grim to get the intel on it, the yeah. Candelas to blind him, yeah. the shield to push him from the bottom, and the guy to watch the shield's back on the vertical angle, and then to trade him out if things somehow go poorly. Yep. You're just... There's nothing you can do there. Like, you are screwed. There's nothing you can do. You're in a lot of trouble. Exactly. I want to see how they bounce back here. Chiefs, very early tactical timeout. This is their, five -two their, lead. their first defense. Uh, now, I am going to comment as well. Nate, their coach, former IG player, um, former order player. Uh, he's been around in the O's League for... Oh, my days. A very long time, that's all I'm going to say. He's been say, there I, for I, a old name. Yeah, yeah. He's been around for a very long time. Uh, and speaking to these players and, and individually getting their perspectives uh, in OS interviews, both Oda and Tex have actually given Nate a lot of praise. It's his first time as a coach, and they've given him a lot of praise for how much he's been the team. So, you know, make of that what you will. We'll now see what kind of impact well, I, he's had. I think, I think in a team that is, like, overall young, not only in terms of experience, but a lot of the players on the roster, but young in terms of age, yep. you know, young, young in just terms of, like, even at this tournament, there's, like, still a lot of room to grow. Yes. Yeah, so if, if you have a system like that where, like, everyone, no matter the ego, the experience, or the age, is just buying into the coach's system or the coach's feedback, it's yep. really, really good. Really strong recipe for, like, a team that can develop quite well. And... I think it's evidence right there, not necessarily saying this was Nate's idea, but like saying we're doing the mute ban and we're playing Lion, Dokeby, Demos every single round. Yeah, it's simple. They're leaning into the meta, but it was like it was like the Bible to them. That was. Without attacking half. It was incredibly and so. As we get to the defenses, I don't think we're going to see anything that parallels that closely. No. Um, but it's still it's things to, to. Yeah, it's still things to consider. And I think as we see the tactical timeout come out, one thing I have to imagine to mention is bringing out the flash. Yep. It's very hard to deal with shields nowadays. Impacts do less damage. They can dodge C4s, generally speaking, very well if they have a long time to react. Yep. What's one way to do it? You bring the clash, you shock them. That shield's not sprinting anymore. And they've also swapped out the warden for the vigil as well. So Thankfully, there's no Ying on the board, so actually a change that may be a bit risky given the prevalence well. <laughs> it had in round seven, but it does pay off. Yeah, I, I mean, just, you know, speaking holistically, I think that APAC as an entire region is starting to slowly understand how these international events work. I think so. It feels as though there's a, a grip or even just that teams are coming to terms with how like, is a great example in their last game. You know, that, that Cag was, one map away from knocking up BDS yeah, in Manchester. You, you're like you're finally starting to see these teams click a little. Consistency is going to be the number one issue. Yeah. So I mean, it's two times now that you know Cag obviously one round away from knocking up BDS, but they opened with a seven three victory over G two earlier yeah. in a very close second map. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Rex obviously knocked out G two. Not as much of a close game today, unfortunately. Jigasaw able to get the first pick, knocked down Mendes. Definitely one of the weakest oh. maps I've seen for X player nationally in a while. Tech getting a bit liberal with his looks right there. Exposes the back a little bit, but you've got a 5v4. The shield is still up, but you can stare it right in the face. As long as you can navigate around those nades, nice there is scenario. nothing that Firax have to counter that. It's a really nice keeper as well, and it looks like they're just <laughs> they're stacking up here. They're looking to death ball this. Right, you think out rotate the clash. I, I think it's the right call because if the clash gets into position, it's going to really start to dismantle what you're doing. But Oda might be able to do it. Oh, and he's lonesome. Oh no, bro. A double kill. This is for Matt Point Fear X in a two versus five with a clash up. They've got so much work to do. Cairo gives them a look in, but I mean, at this point, it's, it's written off. There's, yeah, there's really nothing you can do. I mean, you got to hope you win the fight against this bandit. He's playing passively as you should. So you've got to like pre fire this guy, and you're still in a crossfire. You're basically relying on Oda and Quiz to straight up like messing up, yeah. like making a mistake. 
Flashbang might be nice. You got these Selmas to clear out the minibar position. Oh! Go. I like that. Rin has a foresight to get on the boost angle and kill him, but only 10 seconds. Jigsaw. He holds strong. And Demi. I mean, look, you've had some good shots, but you're 2 and 7. It's been a struggle, some series. And Fear X just do not look in it today. No, it, this is just Skyscraper, just not their map. Maybe no. it's not their day. I don't know, but. This is just an unbelievably dominant performance of Chiefs. They take the tactical timeout. They bring operators to counter that shield, and you can see a completely rattled Fear X. They had done no work to clear out the minibar position early, and they had spent so much time trying to move forward that yep. once it gets, once they actually realize, hey, wait, let's open this Selma and take out the bandit, and they even get on the boost angle and catch his head behind the minibar, the damage is done at it's that done. point. Like. The guy playing mini took two 1v1s outside of the door and won both of them. One of them is, was against the Blitz yeah. ADS. <laughs> so, like I mean, when things go right, they go right. They do, yeah. When when Fierrex have won rounds with that Blitz, it is just like this cascade of force yeah. that washed over Chiefs in I the agree. early game of Clubhouse. And when it's not worked, I mean, thank God that Nova has two times now. Like, his spidey sense has kicked in and he's whipped around as somebody's <laughs> tried to backstab him. Because he was put to one, he was put to one HP when that guy flanked Black Stairs uh, two rounds ago. If he doesn't do that, or even if the guy aims at his head, he probably dies. And maybe they lose that round and as a result of that. The game could be over. I think you're, just, you're gonna play your win cons a little better if you fear X. I think so too, and that's perpetually been, even when they were looking better, that's perpetually been the issue with this team. Is it just like they they struggle to identify the win condition in the round? It was very clear in round seven, but I think because it's very obvious, if you're bringing Ying, Grim, a uh, Blitz, and then oh, there's one other operator I was missing. Zofia. Uh, no, it wasn't, was it, in that was, it wasn't Zofia. No, I'm thinking about round seven. Um, oh, sorry. Uh, Dokubi. That's, yeah, the, yeah. that's the round. That's what I was thinking of. Um, damn, I'm actually all in, really. You, you want to completely barrel through black teams. It's very obvious. When you bring all that utility, it's very easy to accomplish, too. But when things get more complicated, Fearx starts struggling exponentially. <laughs> it's like struggle a little bit, one more factor, even more, a lot, too much to handle. And that's what this game has been so far. The problems that Chiefs have thrown at them, especially for getting these defenses, seem too much to handle when they can't just sprint up a staircase and dump all their utility in one position, and they get a 5v4 earlier in the round, they struggle. And it was, on the, it was the case on Clubhouse, and it seems to be the case here. Well, if you're a Korean fan, you're not going to be too happy with this outcome. One and more, nor more should chance you. tomorrow, if they lose. They do still have one more chance, but they go up against... Alpha team, I believe. Yes, it's Alpha team. Opening kill for Mephi. Again, really important. Now, I guess it's a good time to mention this, but every single opening kill has been converted into a round with this entire map. And it'd, it'd be honestly pretty hard to fumble this at this point. We have the Blitz all the way in Geisha. You've still got... I, that's his last death mark tracker, I believe. Okay, maybe the second one. Still... Oh, he's dead. Well, that's not great. Huge flank from Tex. Oh my god, wait. Ah, uh, yeah, I think Rin gets the free kill here. Oh my days, the timing. It'll at least be one. Make it two. Unfortunate for Chiefs. Rin finds a very nicely timed flank, and Pyro has nothing but the clash. Yeah? Yeah, go on. He just, what? Wait. He just 360 though. What? I'm so confused as to what I just watched. I don't. But. Why didn't, I don't know why he did that, but I appreciate the style points. I mean, you may as well. I guess. You, you don't have much there from this game. There may be a reason for it. I don't know. I Six genuinely three. don't 6-3. 6-3, yeah, that's still the big problem. But when you get yeah. a 5v3 like that, like I said, even on Skyscraper, it's going to be difficult to convert when the way you're positioned at the end of that is you have your Blitz and Geisha. You've got direct eyes on one of the defender's main stairs who then yep. gets death mark tracked. You've still got... Like, you've still got easy angles into the site just because of the man advantage, whether you want to push through black stairs or just collapse onto the guy main like it's just very difficult to lose at that when your shield is still up and you've got a two body <laughs> lead and you've taken so geisha much. of all places just like you know not a whole lot to do after you're actually like you could literally just wait for chiefs to start. pretty much they have to i mean they did right They're and and while cheese brought it back in the mid round like i'm not gonna lie when i saw rin flanking behind there i was like okay this is a little scary like we're hunting this and this is gonna be like Rin in the 1v2 and he, he, he killed both of them <laughs>
He got a little. He did get a little lucky there, didn't he? he did, I mean, yeah. they did have intel. You could see the yellow pings. So I guess luck has nothing to do with it. If you're good. But I, I think I think just because of you know the nature of like trying to hit big flanks like that, probably the comms are hectic. You're Insane. you're there are a lot of places you get pushed from because you're kind of flying into the unknown just yeah. a little bit. So I, you got to be thinking about main stairs, which the enemy controls, black stairs, which the enemy controls, house window, which they could jump into, bathroom window, they could jump into, <laughs> and of course a guy coming house. Like you got delivery. There's, yeah, there's way too many. There's just way too many things yeah. to deal with. There's so I many agree. variables. You're still up six three, so who cares? Well, you know, we saw this on Clubhouse. Have a little bit of a uh, troll, a little bit. Yeah. Let alone yeah, have, have a bit of fun. It, it, have and bit of fun. these haven't necessarily been trolls, but they've let some Absolutely slip away. Not. I definitely don't think on this map we've seen really any trolling. But now, team. but now we do go to barbecue. I was Where about to say go? this should be the uh, wrap, wrap it up. Fear X win this round. Yeah, I mean, let, you know, call it here. Yeah, but may as well start talking about uh, Lord of the Rings again. <laughs> but this is the site that, if you're thinking on Skyscraper, most attacks feel the most confident in winning. It's the site that now, obviously, Fear X, especially with a five v four, have a really good chance to narrow this lead. There, that Chiefs have by at least one more round. There's still players up above, but with the player you killed I, either being around there, I believe, uh, at around the Geisha window position, Oda's going to be in a very difficult spot because Tex has got to watch behind them. Oda's got to watch the front. Line. Sure, Jigsaw is up above, but if there's even a little bit of pressure on that site, somebody's got to fall back. They're spread a little thin up top. No, I'm not. No, oh, I'm looking at you. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're not thin. It's barren. <laughs> The choice, and so is the choice I'm of sure Fear X to continue to push into these players. They're going to be careful of Oda at the moment. He's really the only player on that side that I, I feel like could have that impact. And just as we say his name, C4 over the top. That allows Jigsaw to swing, and it's a flurry of kills. Fear X come out on top at such a crucial moment in the round. That could have all gone spiraling out of control, but instead, Fear X they take control. They sit in the driver's seat, foot down, pedal to the metal, and Jigsaw is the last to remain. Especially in a 1v3, you don't have the Dokubi calls to hunt him down, but with three canisters in that hive, in that hive launcher from Grim, like, I mean, well, he just straight up kills him, so it's fine. But, like, literally, you can, it's a 1v3, you've got three canisters, you can easily, let's say you want to plant in kitchen, be off the door, be off the rotate, be off, like, back delivery if you want to, but I doubt you even need be to do off. that. <laughs> Oh, my brain's hit delirium. <laughs> it is hit utter delirium. <laughs> just, you said be off three times in a row. <laughs> it just sent me. <laughs> it's what I'm saying is you could get a plant down if you wanted to. Yes, you could. That's the point I'm making. And if you or in a 1v3. What would you rather do? In a 1v3, you would you rather go for the plant or the kill? <laughs> or would you rather be off someone? <laughs> <laughs> it's not just delirium for me either, apparently. <laughs> I thought it in my head and I just looked at you. I was like, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, that was funny. Uh, office exhibition unlocked. If you're slowly starting to string together these rounds, I'm going to lose my mind if it's an attacker sided skyscraper. Spe specifically, oh, one, specifically one that's a 5 1 attacking half for both teams. I'm going to be quite confused. Especially, talk about the, to actually talk about that round, which we can, of course, look at the op lineup in a second. Yeah. I mentioned that the roam was spread kind of thin. Um, they were they fixed that by putting all four people on the top floor. Yep. Which is like one, Fiorx didn't realize that, but two, kind of impressive when there were four people on that top floor and Fiorx like got almost all of them with only losing one body in the yeah, process. Very like quick. they won all of those fights. Yeah. Yeah, and that's that's those moments where it can come down to your individual ability, mm -hmm. and sometimes you just get lucky with a fight. Sometimes a player's not looking in the right direction at the right time. There's a multitude of things that lead to that, but ultimately this has looked a lot more convincing and a lot more engaged from Fiorex, which has certainly oh, been what a really lovely work. He went back to pick it up. Oh, I can't believe he did that. Rover picks up another opening kill. Well, you may as well put it in the box. Oh, he, go for it. They oh. open up the Ash Charge down below. He still banded the Exothermic. Oh my god, they send the Clash to hunt <laughs> down the Ash. <laughs> Dude, what is going on? Oh, go for it, They Clara. just used both fire bolts on that. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, the no way! The gets the double! <laughs> Through the fire and flames, the clash prevails. And now he's back into a position of power. VIP is secured. 
and Fear X are left squandering for Dude, openings. That, that is one of the most insane early rounds I have ever seen. That's wild. He, I like, it was crazy enough when after the Ash Charge and the guy still prone on the window, he not only tries to bandit trick, does so successfully. Yep. Ash gets down through the floor by Oda, I think, and then they just converge on these guys outside and the way it all happens. By the way, smart use of the EMP to uh, uh, disable the Clash Shield. They literally just get so comfortable that the Clash is the shield in front of them. They're like, oh, she's got a gun, and I'm, re I'm reviving her right <laughs> in front of the window. Takes a little spray. And a pray. And now, and now what do you do? Defense still has drum, dragon, everything. It's and a man advantage. I mean, th this feels insurmountable. It does not feel like Fear X are going to be able to get past this. You have to try and brute force your way through three different okay. opening areas. Jigsaw gives them the look in. He gives them the opportunity. Now, granted, I think that's a good risk. I was about to say, I think that was a perfectly fine risk to take. Yeah. I mean, you hear the guy go on drone. He's right around the corner. He's even tagged him up to basically low HP. The Clash could, he actually, the Clash could actually finish this guy off. That's the last no. EMP. Oh, my God. The Thermite literally body blocking the electricity he threw to himself. try and save no him. No way. He threw himself on the sword for him. And then he finds the player in the back, which was Oda trying to rotate. And Clash, look how low he is. There this is doable. This is not just doable. This is absolutely going to happen. C4 over the top. Tech shuts down. Good boy. What? Makes it a double for the quad kill. Oda now tucked away. Demic walks into him. <laughs> and Chase will close out their opening. Best of three. 